as I mentioned before, I don't like seafood at all. Um, they put seaweed in virtually everything. Um, yeah. A lot of missionaries went in not liking seaweed, but, but, and then they ended up loving it. Unfortunately, I was not one of those people. I still didn't like it. But they have, so there are a couple things that you learn to love there. My favorite was onagiri. It's like this rice pack ball. Their rice is delicious, by the way. It's like so amazingly good. Um, it's in a triangle, and then they stuff some sort of meat in it. And I like the tuna. It's a very, just very traditional and one, or very like mild tasting one. And it'd be wrapped in seaweed. But that's something that you can easily take the seaweed off, and that's what I would do. And those are good quick lunches. My Some of my favorite meals were yakuniku. Um, was delicious. It's like this basically what they do is they take a bunch of a lot of members when they have you over sometimes they'll have this but they take a bunch of cut up vegetables um, they love their vegetables there they'll take like eggplant cabbage um, carrots onions just anything and they and then they'll get a bunch of meat different types of meat and they will just throw it onto this huge frying pan like in front of you and you just when it's cooked, you flip it over with your chopsticks and then you just take it and you dip it into, they have like this sauce and you dip it into a bowl and then you eat it and it's so good. It is so good. Um, and so there are things that if you don't like seaweed, that's good. Um, the one that I would personally stray away from is natto. It is fermented soybeans. Um, some, like, there are some Japanese who don't even like it. And another traditional meal, they have it all the time during, during the winter, is called nabe. It's kind of like our, um, pot roast. It's like a soup kind of thing, but they just, in a broth, they boil meats and vegetables. There are different flavors of it. Um, some are seaweed more, fishy more tasting, some are more meat tasting, but nabe is really good. Um, they just have like this specific pot that they put it in and then it's over a fire on the table and it's It's really good. And then there's of course ramen and udon, which is It's like a thicker noodle. It's made of buckwheat um, The the look of it, I guess not the look Sometimes the look of it can throw you off and the texture of it can throw you off really good, but it's like my favorite thing I love that anything that didn't have seaweed in it. I usually really liked the desserts are not sweet. I mean, there's a reason they're skinny, right? It's because they don't put sugar in things. Their chocolate's good, but it takes a little bit to get used to because it's not as sweet. They do make desserts. Their ice cream's really good. Um, their ice cream's really good. Their chocolate's good. Um, some places, like when they make desserts, they'll make cakes and pies. Um, when they make them, they're really good, but they aren't as sweet as Americans. Our, like as our stuff is which is good it's fine but it, yeah it's not as sweet and they don't eat them as often they're they have so mochi good. all the time I love them um I did not like mochi <laughs> really? um yeah I the texture and the, the taste of it and then they put this anko oh it's um, a sweet red bean paste in the middle of it which I did not like for me beans are more of like savory not sweet but a lot of missionaries really end up liking it they have an, an an entire like holiday reserved for mochi where you make mochi and you eat it they put it in a soup and when you put it in a soup it like kind of melts and it gets super stringy and then you kind of chew on it forever um i, I mean it's just pounded rice and I love rice, but for some reason I didn't like mochi. They put it around their ice cream, and it's really good that way. 